Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Shalom. Shalom. All right. First and foremost, we're gonna get started. We're gonna give all honor and glory and power to. Yeah. Power by Hashem, not a shy by Hashem. Kadosh. We wanna say double honors to our elders, our great apostles, great millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well, a big great example to Israel. All right, main the elect, we wanna say peace and blessings to the hopeless elect on the poor corner, pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, that great song on the brother of the and to my left. I know. I would just come with a little quick lesson, you know, through the spirit and power of you, how about Shema Shah. As in always, the Lord giving us the inspiration, the motivation, all right, to bring our prophecy, man. All right, you know, and in this time, the wicked being revealed, and the spirit being consumed by who? The Heavenly Father. To give us and ordain us to put forth and lift up the veil, the skirt, all right, to show the shame, all right, and the rape, rob, and murder, all right, as the so called white man have done, all right, to receive the power that he have now, man. You know, so Lord willing, you know, we get straight into it, and as you see the title, Woe to the Bloody City, all right, it's full of what? Lies and robbery. All right, and it's going to who? America, Babylon the Great, man. And what mean what? Destruction. Destruction. Yeah. And what's coming to this place? Destruction. Destruction. All right, and by the way, I what? The thermonuclear missiles, along with the chariots, all right, the so-called UFOs, which they are for because they identify, all right, in the Bible, all right, as our salvation vehicles, man. Mm -hmm. All right, them so-called UFOs was going to deliver us out of the what? Out of the hellfire, man. That's coming upon this place, you know. But we gonna get straight into it, you know. Lord willing, y'all brothers and sisters to be edified, you know. While we let it lie down, man. Okay, this is the book of Nahum, chapter three, verse one. Walk to the blood of the city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Right. Walk to that bloody city. All right. How the city became a bloody? How did how did this Babylon the Great become this bloody city? All right. How did they conquer? America. Mm -hmm. All right, if you can grab numbers. Grab numbers. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, dog? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I had a precept for you, too. Okay. Well, you can try it first and then get the numbers. Get my voice. Yeah. All right, this is um, Habakkuk 2 and 12. They say, Woe to him that build a town with blood. Right. And establish it a city by iniquity. Exactly. Now, how did he build this town with blood? Out the backs of who? The Negro, Latino, Native American, Spanish, man. All right, called free labor. All right, that's a sense of how America became great in power. All right, off the who? Off the Negroes, man. Yeah. You know? You got it. You want to speak on it? No, you, you, you Go ahead. This is, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So you should not pollute the land where you are. For blood, it defiled the land. Right, see that? Blood defiled the land. So this land that we live on, the soils of America, is defiled by innocent blood. All right? This so-called white man have shed innocent blood, man. You know, you go to the accounts of history when you're dealing with how uh, the so-called Negroes, the Haitians, all right, and, and, and Benjamin, you know, which basically speaking of the Southern Kingdom, all right, speak Pacific, you so-called Negroes came around the slave ships. That was a bloody mess. Yeah. Even before that, you had uh, Gad, Native American Indians, and the Seminole Indians being whooping. Shit, even Issachar, the so-called Mexican, you know, this, this devil went down. You know, with Cristobal Colon. Yeah. You got to remember the Spanish, um, what is it, the Spanish Exhibition period? Yeah, 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 that's it. You know? This day was just, you know, rape by our mother, man. Going right back to that Habakkuk uh, 2 and 3. Walked to him to build a town by blood, man. Yeah. Blood shit. That's it. So going back to the law in the book of Numbers 35 and 33, it says, So you should not pollute the land where you are, for blood is defiled the land. Right. Right? And the, the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Exactly. See that? So that's their righteous recompense. Because this land cannot be cleansed by the blood who shed it, which was triggered to who? The so-called white man. Because he the one that had the power. Yeah. All right? According to what? Genesis, the 27th chapter. All right? Because that sword was given up to him, a great sword. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and he live and die by the sword and go all around the earth as a habit of two and five, say. All right, he never keep it at home. And that's how he conquered with that sword, with violence. Yep. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, so the only way this place of Melbourne can be cleansed is by the blood of him that shed it. So he saw he got to go, got to go down, man. And also saying Genesis, um, him that shed it, man, blood. Can I get yeah, that? Yeah, go ahead. This is Genesis 9, chapter 9, verse 6. Whoso shedeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Woo! For the image of the Most High, may he man. So we saw blood got to be shed. And that's uh, by the hands of Yahweh Shemosha when you take him out by uh, nuclear fire, man. Yeah. Because that's righteous. Yeah. You know? That, 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 that brings back uh, Revelation 13, chapter. He that live by the sword. Should yeah. die by the sword. I mean, not, uh, he that leads the captivity shall what? Go into okay. captivity. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. Yeah. You know? But go back, uh, read numbers again. I'll read numbers again? Yeah. This is back in the book of Numbers, chapter 35, and verse 33. So ye should not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land. Cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right, exactly. By, by the blood who shed it, which is the so-called white man. He have shed innocent blood. And who are the innocent? I write the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. God, I had a precept. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 35 and 1. Ezekiel 35, verse 1. Moreover, yeah, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, Sit thy face against Mount Seal and prophesy against it. Right. So your attention and your focus is on who? Esau. Because he the main uh, root problem, all right, in this equation. Okay. All right. Everything turns back and point to who? The so-called white man. All right. That's why the Lord says, set thy face against Mount Seal and prophesy against it. Okay. So what we said before it happened? The destruction. All right, this place being nuked. You see, this place being the lake of fire. This is what we prophesying as prophets, because what this is the fourth warning of Yahweh Shema Shah before it what before it come. That's why I say woe unto the bloody city. This city is built upon blood, off the backs of who the the the, the Israelites man, not the Chinese, not the Japanese, not the fucking Africans. Not Ishmael. All right? No other nation but what? The 12 tribes of Israel, man. History proves it. Yep. To this day. Right? This, I got a quick one. This Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake their hand, that they may go into the gates of the noble. Right. And then what you see, the prophets, the servants of Yahweh Shemesh are shaking their hand. We prophesied against this uh, God-forsaken land. Here, that's right, man, brother. Which is Babylon the Great, man. Yeah. Yes. And this prophecy, yep. we go going to um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. All right, I said, Then shall a righteous man stand, stand in what? Great boldness. You know? Yeah. In the face of such who what? Afflicted us. Who afflicted us? All right, who afflicted us, man? Who makes us under persecution? Who is the oppressor? And who being oppressed? You see? It all lines up. Uh, Go back to uh, Ezekiel, yep. So we say prophesy against it. And say unto it, Ezekiel chapter 35, and verse 3, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seal, I am against thee. Right, who is Mount Seir? Mount Seir goes back to Esau, Edom. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. The Lord said he is against thee. You know, they always say God bless America. No, the Most High is against this wicked uh, place, man. That's right. So a lot of innocent blood men shed here, man. You see? Then it says, eyes is upon this simple kingdom. We're going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's right, brother. So it say, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. Right, who is the hand of your high by Shemal Shah? All right, our big brother. All right, and along with them angels. 
All right, the Lord said He's gonna stretch His hand out against him, man. And that's gonna that's who's gonna bring what the destruction. Go ahead. And I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste. Woo! Yep. He's gonna demolish it, man. Tear it down. <laughs> and this scripture say in Revelation in one hour, man. Yeah. You know, so I will lay thy cities waste, and thou should be desolate, and thou should know that I am the Lord. Right. So woe to the what? To the bloody city. city. This was coming to Babylon the Great, man. Yep. You gonna know it was the Lord that done this, man. That's right. They brought in the destruction, you know, that destroyed this place by fire, man. It wasn't a, uh, a person on the ground with pitchfork or horns that set a milk on fire. No, it was the Albert and Marshall that done it, man. That's right, brother. It said, uh, verse five, Ezekiel chapter thirty-five, because thou has had, so like because thou has had a perpetual hatred, right? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel you go. by the force of the sword Woo! in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. There you go. See, in the time of their iniquity had an end. That's why when you go to Nahum, it said, Woe to that bloody city. All right, it's full of lies and what? Robbery. All right, that robbery, it took place. Read that again. Yep. It says Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And that's their ongoing hatred. All right? From what? From the womb. Yeah, from Jacob. You saw, like you said, from the womb. You know, two separate people, man. <laughs> you know, we, we were uh, fighting the womb, man. We didn't like each other, man. Yeah. So how much more today? You got coons, sellouts, trying to be friends with this devil, man. And he still hates you, man. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Hey, history should tell you that he hates you, man. You see the example with these celebrities, man. He saw use you or throw you away. Like 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 trash. Yeah, like you got Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. Now it's P. Diddy. Yeah. Right? He saw you know, pretty much down with that nigga, man. Yeah. And, and he's still gonna get destroyed, you know. That's right, brother. <laughs> so that's uh the ancient hatred, man. This hate goes all the way back. To the womb. Yeah, because that perpetual go back to ongoing. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, because what he says, when you go to Genesis, let me grab it real quick. Yeah, when you go to Genesis, right? That's why we can't get along, man. Right? Because of what? Genesis, the, the third chapter. He had put enmity between what? Thee and thy seed. God. You know? Let's go back to way, you know what I'm talking about, before. You know, because you got to think about this the same spirit when you got Cain and Abel. You know, yep. Cain was the wicked spirit, and J uh, Abel was the righteous spirit. Cain was the first murder. He shed, he shed innocent blood. There you go. You know, don't, he, they, don't they link up? Man, uh, slew his own brother, man. Yeah. Same thing what Esau doing. That's why Esau. That's why Esau Abel. said what I'm gonna read right now. This is Genesis 27 and uh, 41, and it says. Uh, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Wait, he hated us for no reason because he the one sold us the birthright, man. He gave right. it to us, man. The scripture say he despised it. Uh huh. You know? You got it. And it says, and Esau said it in his heart, when I mean, this is in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> the days of mourning for my father. All right, hand. I'm done crying. <laughs> you know. You then it. would I slay my brother Jacob. I'm gonna kill my brother Jacob for no reason, man. You know, my forefather Isaac died. Hey, I'm done crying. It's just over with now. I'm gonna go and kill. And now he got murder on his mind. Yeah. To show you that he is the father of that. We say he was a murder from the beginning. Yep. It's the same spirit. You know, that's the same spirit. Go ahead. Yeah, I got another one. This is Amos 1 and 11. That said the Lord Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I would not turn away the punishment that was. Woe to the bloody city. Because this is the punishment. Esau's the end of this age. Yeah. And how this age is going to go out? How this society is going to go out? How his kingdom is going to go out? By thermonuclear missiles. Come on. Like, oh, you got it. I was saying the Lord said he's not gonna turn away the punishment that was, man. You know, all that bygone, bygone, that was the past. 
The Lord said he would remember that. Yeah, the past is required. The past was required. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. And right here, too, he was not going to punish. <laughs> this is what the Lord said, man. Yeah. I'm going to finish it. You got it. Then it say because he did pursue his brother with the sword. There you go. He pursued his brother with the sword. Because how did we get in captivity? How did he take over America, Babylon the Great? By what? By the sword. His sword is twofold because he got that fourth tongue. All right? Remember he said, what? His word was smoother than butter. But what was in his heart? What was in his mind? How to destroy and conquer. God. But it's all what? Prophecy being fulfilled. When we just read in Genesis, uh, we didn't read it, but Genesis, the 27th chapter, because he that blessing with Esau was the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. And by the sword shall he live. All right, and guess what? This being played out in this time, because he got the fatness of the earth. All right, he got the dew of heaven. He got it all. He got it. He got what that Psalm seventy three. He got more than the heart. He got he got more than the heart can wish. But what he doing? All right, in in Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Asia. You know what he doing over there? He covering with what? With this sword, which go to his military, man. Yeah, and because they were pursuing going to, to chase. They say he pursued his brother with the sword, so he chased after it, his followers. Yeah. You know, I got this word pursue in the etymology. All on etymology for the word pursue, it said follow with hostile intent. Woo! You hostile, you angry. That's right. He got money on his mind, you know? And why is he angry? Because of that birthright. Yeah, they say follow with a view of overtaking. That's why our uh, forefather Jacob, he said, uh, the 49th chapter, he told God what? A troop should overcome thee, but the last, you should overcome them. That's right. So we living in the end day. We about to get the victory, man. The God, you know, the Native Americans about to get the victory, man. That's right. Did that happen? That's did, right. Did not the truth overcome God? Prophecy. <laughs> yep. say, what say, uh, uh, how I speak, uh, Judah. And Israel were oppressed together. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I would, I would think about getting that too. Yeah. But I'm going to finish this. I'm going to go back to Ezekiel. Go ahead. And it said, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, who eats that brother? Jacob. To this day, he pursued us with what? With the sword. Yeah. You got it. And did cast off all pity. Woo! No mercy. In his anger, did he tear perpetually? And he kept his wrath forever. See that? He kept his wrath forever, man. All right, but guess what? The Lord gonna allow him to, to fulfill that that, that, that that hatred, that ongoing perpetual hatred, as he said, then when I slay my brother Jacob. The Lord gonna allow him to fulfill that in the time of what? Jacob trouble. Yep, he had been fulfilling that. You got the seven AD, you know, the um, -ded um, dedication of the temple, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so back in Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 6. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood. Right, and this preparing is happening now. He preparing Esau for blood, man. All right? That's why he allowed him to uh, create them missiles. You know? Nobody knows how would destroy the wise men out of teaming. Yep. All right? Going to the Germans. You know? You got it. Yeah, I would prepare thee unto blood, and blood should pursue thee. There you go. What blood goes around comes, comes around. Blood gonna follow you. There you, you know? go. Said, said, um, thou has not hated blood, even blood should pursue thee. Yeah, when they when they spoke about Alexander the Greek, you know, they said he could put his sword down for five minutes. <laughs> That's how much conquering he was doing. That's how much killing he was doing. He was so to do it. You know what I'm talking about? The Edomites, man, that's all they know is blood. Yeah. That's their spirit. Yeah. You yeah. got it out. So this is Jeremiah 58, 33. This said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right, exactly. You know, the northern king and the south king we were oppressed together. You know? We both went in what? Captivity. Captivity. Yep. As prophecy has spoke of it. Yep. And they don't tell you the history how when you know when Judah, you know, was on the slaves, you know, 
But uh, being oppressed, how the natives used to come in and help us, you know, free us, free some of us, man, you know. <laughs> but it said Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. Right, all them that took them captives held them fast. That's how you know we were brothers. The natives, the Native American Indians used to come in and help us. That's you know, right. Uh, set us free, you know. This is how you know. But it say, uh, this is one of them, one of many. It say, um, and all that took them captives had them fast, they refused to let them go. Exactly. They refused to let them go. So go right, but go to, uh, go back to Nahum uh, 3 and 1. Yep. They back off that, they refused to let them go. Yeah, because now this devil want to put a uh, RFID in plan for granted rights in you now. Man. Therefore, you can't go. Therefore, you can't return back to your power. All right, this goes to what Psalm the 83rd chapter. Yeah. All right, the cahoots with all these nations coming together to keep us what? From being a nation, to keep us from returning back into our power. That's what he designed to do with that with that implanted grain of rice. Oh. You know? But then what the Lord say? Discretion unto you. You got it with the name home three and one. Name home three and one. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and wild. Right, it's full of lies. And what are some of the lies that we have been taught growing up in this society? Growing up in this wicked ass world. Alright, the first lie is uh Job 9 and 24. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. Because if not the so-called white man did it, who did it? Who had the power to change the image of the Lord? The angels, the heavenly father himself. Changes his name. His name. Well, whitewashing, iconoclism. Our identity. Hey, yeah, bro. This, this devil took on our uh, true identity, man. He called himself, uh, you know, us. He the biggest identity theft there is. I'm speaking about the little heads. Because they cap him or whatever, man. They're not the real people. Exactly. What's the more lies? Uh, <laughs> you know, we African American. Uh, we, uh, we Puerto Rican. We uh, Dominican. We Haitians. Right. All these Bowers and Proverbs. Right? Yeah. The um, uh, holidays, so called. His holidays, man. Lies. Uh, what's, what's the more lie? Happy uh, uh. <laughs> wife, happy life. That's uh, BS, man. Right. The American dream. The Lord's birthday uh, on, on December 25th. <laughs> yeah. Easter. We all believed in that one, didn't it? Yeah. Really thought the Lord's birthday was December 25th. Christianity. <laughs> it's for the lies. Yep. Shit, getting a degree. <laughs> a bachelor's degree. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, the American way is the way that you're going to receive salvation. You're a damn lie. You know? But then it also says what? And robbery. Yep. You know? And you can grab that, uh, you, get, you can get that, what's called first? Uh, uh, Zechariah 1 to 15. Zechariah 1 to 15. Uh huh. This is Zechariah 1 and 15. I am very so displeased with the heathen. Right, the Lord said he's so displeased with the heathen. Go ahead. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped for the affliction. Yeah, because when you go into Isaiah, I'm going to grab right quick. Yeah, you can get an NLT. And when you go to Isaiah 46, right? 47 and, and, and 7. Now, 47 and 6. It said, now this is the Lord. It said, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. I have given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient have they very heavily laid thy yoke. Who did that? The Lord said he have given them into thy hand. Meaning what? The Israelites was given to who hand? The so-called white man. Which all is fulfilled what? Prophecy of us going to go into what? Captivity for disobedience. Yeah. You know? Then it says, And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. Because that lady represents what? America, right? This great whore, Babylon. So that thou didst not lay these things to heart, but to mind, neither did thou remember the latter end. Because what is the latter end of, of, of America? Being destroyed. Been on fire. What's the latter end of Evelyn? That goes back to the law, man. That you gonna perish. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Cause that's 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 a good job too, right? Uh, yeah, I, this numbers at like number sixteen. Uh, See, so you're grinding too. 
Can I get this one? Go ahead. This is Zach Wild, chapter one, verse 15 in the NLT. But I am very angry with the other nations that are now enjoying peace and security. Woo! Look at the other nations, man. You know, they living it up. They, they living the ones. Yeah, they form the affliction. They said, I was only a little angry with my people, but the nations inflicted harm on them far beyond my attention. There you go, far beyond his attention. All right? Because, yeah, we disobeyed. Yeah, the cousin said we were going to do this. But guess what? They helped for the affliction. All right? And in the example of that, you'll grab, uh, you'll grab the Exodus real quick. I'll make my point. All right, this is Exodus 21 and 16. It said, if he did steal a man and sell him, or if he be foul in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And this law, if, if what hands we are still in right now? We still under rule and subject to who? The so-called white man. So, so, uh, what, what, what I want to say? Uh, shit. He like fellow. You know, the Lord had hard fellow. Right, right. So if the Lord hard you so that he's not gonna let us go. So I'm trying to figure out a word to describe this. Because you know like I said, I wanna make that example. And here it is, you got a, you you had you had an order uh you rented a car. You know what I'm saying? You rented a car for three days or a week or whatever, right? And your due date is, is what? Monday. Ten AM. Ten AM. Here it is, it's Wednesday, and you still got the car. They could they consider it as what? Stolen. Stolen, stolen property. You had a due date. You know, that's a mindset of Esau. He helped for the affliction. So now we gonna get caught. When the Lord comes, he gonna get caught red-handed. The Israelites stealing what? In his possessions. Yep. You see? So what's gonna so what's the law on that? He shall surely be put to death. And then what's going to happen? All right? The Lord going to take him out of rulership. All right? Going to put his ass in captivity. And guess what? After that thousand years, he's going to be put to death, man. You know? You got it out. Yeah, this is Numbers 24 and 20. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up a, his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations. Okay, he first now, man. Right? This, um... Anti, um, <laughs> anti, um, I don't want to get a strike, you know, but right. you know, but that that bill pretty much passed the First Amendment rights, man. Right? You can't speak against them, man. So he first of the nations. He make niggas, uh, like Nick Cannon, you know, do a whole essay of, of apology saying you sorry, right? That's right. He said, uh, look at Kanye, uh, Kanye West, man. Money. I'll start up, bro. I'll start up, bro. Let me start at seven. I start at seventeen. Yeah, yeah, bro. This is uh, Amalek. This is Numbers twenty-four and seventeen. Yeah. I should see him, but not now. I should behold him, but not now. That should come a start out of Jacob, and the scepter shall rise out of Israel. It should smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shep. That's right. Because you know, the so-called the Moab is the so-called Chinese today. All right? And guess what? The Lord got a uh, 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 beef with Moab, too. Yeah. All right? Because Moab in America is, is, is like 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 this. Moab is from Genoa. <laughs> yeah. You it's got it. A, and Edom shall be a possession. Oh, Edom shall be a possession. See, this is a law. So this is already set. My boy, a point in time to what? To happen. You see that? Because it was written that the elder said what? Sir the younger. Yeah. And this and this and this right here, he been what? He said the younger. We ready to go, we ready to go. I know the missile prepare for lunch and ready to go. They ready to go. Look in the sky. Go ahead, huh? Okay. It said Edo should be a possession. Sir also should be a possession for his enemies. Right. And this bag up oh uh, real quick, huh? That's beautiful. You can get the, uh, jump back and forth. You know what I'm talking about? That's so beautiful. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. 
as though they were possessed, right? Mm -hmm. For servants and handmaids. Amen. And they shall take them captives who captured their work. And they shall rule over the oppressor. You see that? So the elder are going to serve the younger in the kingdom of heaven. All right? You got it out. Because this, this is the law. Yeah. Go ahead. This back in Numbers chapter 24 and 18. And Edom should be a possession. So also should be a possession for his enemies. And Israel should do battle. Woo! And Israel should do what? Battle. Which bring up. Let me get this real quick out. Israel should do battle, right? So they bring up Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And it says, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. You see that? Didn't I just read that in Numbers? In Numbers it said what? Read again. Yeah, in the verse 18. Edom should be a possession, so also should be a possession for his enemies. Right. And Israel should do violently. And Israel should do violently. Now go back to Ezekiel 25 14. And I will lay my vengeance, because vengeance means what? Payback. Right? Upon Edom, by the hand of my people, who? Israel. And they shall do into Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vision, said the Lord, you have Shah. You see that? Yep. You are my weapons of war, my battle axe. Right? Yep. Jeremiah 51. Yeah. So back in Numbers 24 and 19. So this got to play out. But it's going to play out in the kingdom of heaven. All right? This is going to play out in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? Him serving the what? The younger. So right now, who in, who in rulership? Who will control the elder? Go ahead. He said, out of Jacob should come he that shall have the men. And he should. Woo! And you see that? That's, that's probably been fulfilled because Esau is the end of the world. And who? Jacob's the beginning that follow it. And we understand Jacob, all right, is, is, is the what? The kingdom. It said Jacob going to do what out? It said, out of Jacob should come he that should have dominion. Woo! Go ahead. And should destroy him that remaining of the city. Man, brutal. Go ahead. And when he looked on, and when he looked on Amalek, he took up his pebble and said, Amalek was first of the nations. Yeah, and what the scripture speaks about first? He that first shall be what? Last. Shall be last. Go ahead. Yeah. But his latter end should be that he perish forever. Right, and then go right back to what I just read in Isaiah the forty-six chapter. It says he did not think about the latter end because the latter end is what? Captivity, then destruction. That's his latter end. That's his, that's, that's his future. You so called white people, you elites, you banking families, that's what you got to look forward to. All right? Hardcore punishment. I don't know how you're going to make it, but you're going to make it. You know? Keep going. Keep going on that. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, no, no, that's it. Though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I right, go back to the Nahum 3 and 1. Read again. Uh-huh. Uh, this Nahum 3 and 1. I put numbers like it. <laughs> He's This Nahum 3 and 1. Walk to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Right, who is the prey? The Israelites. And it said what? We departed not. So what we get today in that captivity. That's what I want to get. Yep. That's what I want to get, I believe. Uh, that's right. That's right. Could this bag up Exodus 21 and 16? You know? You got it. The book 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where that has uh, scattered us for reproach and a curse and be subject to payments. There you go. You see that? Subject. Subject mean what? Under rule. You know, under the authority of who? So called white man. You see that? So we yet this day in what? Our captivity. So the prey departed not. And then when you go into um, the curses, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 6 to 8, what the Lord said? He said, What? 
No man shall what? Redeem you. Redeem you. Yep. And it was subject to all our etymology dictionary. It said a person under control or demean of another. Did you see that? Yep. That's prophecy, right? Because that happened. We yet this day in our captivity. Yep. Then it said make a person or a nation subject to another by force. Woo! By force. Shit. It wasn't that force. Yeah. The sword. Sword ain't hey, shit. The bills, man. You know, miss a day of work. Oh, it's all with, man. <laughs> you know, don't pay the mortgage. Don't pay it all. Oh, with your insurance or whatever. It's subject to the payments. Yeah, I want to grab it. And all everybody right. got a bus certificate, right? So you still a slave, man. You you know you, you lie to yourself if you say you're not a slave. That's right. I got my own business, black. What did I say? Black owned yeah, business. Yeah, black owned business. Man, you still gotta go to the white man for once. And he can everything. take your shit at any time, right? What's he gotta get an LC? Yeah, you gotta go through hell for everything, man. <laughs> yeah, I got one real quick. You're not independent. Nah. You, 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 you still gotta go to the so-called white man yeah. to get that building. Yeah. To get an okay to even set something up. It, it still gotta go through Esau at the end of the day. You gotta go through hell. You know? And you gotta pay taxes. <laughs> Alright, this is this is uh Lamentations 5 and 4. We have drunk in our water for money. We got to pay for water. We subject to payments, man. The Lord make it rain freely. We, we can't, come on, man. We try to collect it. It's <laughs> over with. Yeah, it's over with. Yep. You know? And it says, we have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold up to us. Why well, you got to buy firewood for the weather? We buy a house? Come on, we got it. It says, our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. But we tired. I'm tired, boss. Yeah. You know? What, what's that? Or the nation wear out the saints of the most? That's right. We wear out. Jake tired, man. You know, that's why, you know, <laughs> you know I've been talking to a lot of older Jakes, old school. They would be like, man, I'm good if I get this shit up. You know, like, man, we, <laughs> like the buddy I can know, say, she can't really blame Jake. They build this country up. For free. For free, bro. You know, they tired. Bro. And if they, they can't do it, and if they ain't want to do it, they, they bucked up, what happened? Master got on their ass. Yeah. Yeah. So, whether you didn't want to do it or not, you still had to what? You still had to do it. Yeah. They living paycheck to paycheck. And then, what, well, inflation's here. Everything going up with the pay. So, Jake is tired, man. Exactly. You know? <laughs> what I hear was like, my job, you know, you talk to like the, the top people, their complaints is about going to a meeting or you know, getting some coffee. Like, God damn, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, this this how cruel the yeah, so-called yeah. white man is. This how cruel he is. When I was growing up, the retirement was like 62, 63. I remember my mom they were telling me that. It was like 62, I think, 63. Guess where is it now? Probably 70. You no, know, it's 60, it's 67, bro. Damn this, uh, that's the um, what to say about you? He strength. is not trying to give you niggas shit. You hear me, bro? You know niggas ain't niggas, niggas ain't even making it past forty. You know, nigga pushing fifty. You know, you yeah, you you in the gangs. You know, sixty. Uh, you 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 pushing it. The nigga said the retirement. So you mean to tell me I got to be done to seven and still working wearing them heavy ass boots? Yeah. Them tight ass work clothes. Tell them, tell them seven to get my fuck. Yeah. This 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 is a cruel person that we under under, under subjection of, man. In the four hundred one k, you don't get all of it. No, they cutting that. Cutting that. Yeah. Uncle Sam on here hill our top. You see, that's to show you that what we yet this day in our captivity, man. Hey, check, this is Psalms ninety and ten. The days of our years are three score, and a score is 20, right? So three score is what, 60? It's 60. Then, so the days of our years, our uh, lives, right, are three score years and 10. So that's 70. That's 70. Jake died at 70. Oh, oh, you didn't say, and by reason of strength, they be four score years. So that's 80. 
So he pushed the retirement plan where you pretty much died. Yeah, you're going to die without getting it. You're going to pretty much job dead in three years, so he get away right back. You know? He that's, can't tell me like the fucking devil, That's man. why you see the old head, uh, old head, you know. Yeah? You know, the elders, what, get the chopper bikes, you know, bring them out. You know, bring them up, trying to be young again, man. Yeah, trying to, try to live, you know. That's why uh, I remember my, uh, my baby mom, dad, before he passed, he was, uh, he was, uh, oh, he was, I think he was like 76. But he was doing good, though, because he was like, he'll take two shots, uh, two shots in the morning. Like like liquor, just cause they help uh, his blood flow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was still out. I'm talking about he was still out for like seven cutting grass and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, his age kept just following weaker and weaker. And the scripture said we, we get weaker through age. Yeah. Like every generation is it's on a decline, man. Especially now these young niggas that won't make it to 21 now. Nah, niggas ain't making it to 21, bro. Shit, pill <laughs> niggas talk guns at the age of 13. Yeah. Just here in Memphis. I'm pretty sure it's everywhere now, you know? But it say so it say about four score years, yet it is strict it is they strict label and sidewalk when it's soon cut off and we fly away, man. Mm. So right. <laughs> so right, so we label we have no rest, man. Then it said well he that making money pulling uh, into a um a bag filled with holes. Yeah. How you got one of six? Yeah, we just uh, what was Nahum home three one again? We just called that. Yeah, name the party line. Yeah, name home three one. Walk to the bloody city. We got our four lives and robbery. They prayed the party line. Yeah, they prayed the party line. Cause I don't know how we're gonna be able to part when well, your how a shot comes to deliver us, man. And Lord willing, we are part of that number. You know, but to then, guess what? We stuck like Chuck, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to do what? To rehearse the rights to act, to have favor that the Lord do deliver us. Out of our hell, this captivity, all right, that we placed in through disobedience, but what according to prophecy. You see that all that we spoke of is according to prophecy. You see, because the Lord's word, the heavenly Father, your power, supreme power, his words are faithful and they are true. All right, so everything that we see going on and above the around this ministry is what is prophecy, man. You know, so Lord willing, y'all brothers and sisters edify. And once again, we give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Dash. I want to say double honor to our elders and peace and bless the hope of the elect. Next time, Shalom. I'm Baba Ball. Happy Rock Hockey, man. Hey, Shalom. You can hit, brother.